Our Greatest Fear by Marion Williamson. It's not our light. It's our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Our deepest fear is that not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You're a child of God. You're playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let down, as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. We're liberated from our own fear, and our presence automatically liberates others. Don't shrink. Your playing small does not serve the world. You're a child of God. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It's our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Sylvester Stallone, let me tell you something that you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are. It will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, nobody's going to hit you as hard as life is going to hit you. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. That's how much you can take and keep on moving forward. That's how winning's done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out there and you get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits. And not point fingers and blame other people. Cowards do that. And that ain't you. You're better than that. It's not how hard you hit, but how hard you can get hit and keep on moving forward. Rocky Balboa. The greatest speech ever. You are a champion. Today, gentlemen, I'm honored to coach you. More honored to be leading you onto the field of battle. But there's another honor to be bestowed upon you. And that is the answer that comes with that question. Who am I? I'm a champion. That's right. And you need to remember that all throughout this game. I will conquer what has not been conquered. Defeat will not be in my creed. I will believe what others have doubted. I will always endeavor to pull esteem, honor, and respect out of my team. I have trained my mind and my body will follow. Who am I? I'm a champion. I will acknowledge the fact that my opponent does not expect me to win, but I will never surrender. Weakness will not be in my heart. I will look to my comrades and to those who are a part of me in this world who have trained me, and I will draw strength from them. Who am I? I'm a champion. I will gladly go out into the field of battle, and I will move in everything I can do. I will reach my field of battle by any means at my disposal, and when I get there, I will arrive violently. I'll rip the heart from my enemy and I'll leave it bleeding on the ground because he cannot stop me. Who am I? I'm a champion. To my side I have comrades. Comrades have been with me through thick and thin. Who have sacrificed their blood, sweat, toil and tears. Never will I let them fail. Never will I let them fall. Never will I let them down. And I will never leave an enemy behind. Because our opponent does not know my heart. Who am I? I'm a champion. No one will deny me, no one will define me, and no one will tell me who and what I am and can be. Belief will change my world. It has moved continents, it has moved countries, it has put men on the moon, and it will carry me through this battle. Who am I? I am a champion. Defeat, retreat, those are not in my words. I don't understand those definitions. I don't understand when things go wrong, but I do understand this. I understand victory, and I understand never surrendering. No matter how bad things go, my heart and my mind will carry my body through limits and weakness. Who am I? I'm a champion. History will remember me. I will not let worry and affect my cause. I will define myself. I will write my own pages. And no one will tell me what I cannot be. I will never give up until I've given everything that I've got. Because who am I? I'm a champion. Who am I? I'm a champion. Who am I? I'm a champion. The song in uh, Harlan County by Natalie Merchants, who the credit they're giving to. 
It's called Which Side Are You On? Um, not a great singer, but I think that the words are awesome. So, which side are you on? 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 Come all you good workers, good news to you I'll tell Of how the good old union has come in here to dwell Which side are you on? Which side are you on? My daddy was a miner, now... Fuck this lyrics. My daddy was a miner, and I'm a miner's son. And I'll be with you fellow workers until this battle's won. Which side are you on? Which side are you on? They say in Harlan County, there are no neutrals there. You either be a union man or a thug for J.H. Blair. Which side are you on? Which side are you on? Oh, workers, can you stand it? Oh, tell me, how can you be a lousy scab? Or will you be a man? <laughs> don't scab for the bosses. Don't listen to their lies. Poor fork folks ain't got a chance unless they organize. Which side are you on? Which side are you on? Keep your head up, world. Keep your head up, America. Louisville. Stand up. Be a champion. You're meant to shine. You're God's child. We all meant to shine. Smile and shine. Liberate yourself. And your liberation would be an inspiration for other people's liberation.